Namaste. Welcome to Bonsuri Q&A. I am Dr. Kerry Krieger playing the Bonsuri. Check out my website, bonsuribliss.com. Right now, I am going to answer a question from Rick Sven in the USA. Rick's question was about a PVC made of Bonsuri. And... Rick says, what is your opinion about PVC bond series in terms of durability, maintenance, etc.? PVC is a type of plastic. Sometimes bond series, bamboo flutes, will be made of PVC. Of course, bond series means sound of the bamboo, so I'm not sure you can call a PVC flute a bond series, but essentially, sometimes people make a flute of these basic dimensions out of PVC. So I'm going to talk about durability, maintenance, because that's what was in the question, ease of acquisition of the materials, cost, physical symmetry, the timber, which is essentially the tone that you will be producing. The timber is inherent to the instrument. The tone is what you get from it when you play it. So the timber is the inherent sound. The tone is your sound when you're playing on the flute. So I'm going to talk about the timber of Bond series and PVC flutes and the environmental impact of each material. So I'll start by saying you can use PVC, but you should use bamboo. That's the quick answer. You can use PVC, but you should use bamboo. But here's what you can make your decision with. Durability, PVC is better. PVC can probably take a bit of a beating and not break, whereas your bamboo flute is quite fragile. Maintenance, also PVC is probably easier, better maintenance, because you shouldn't have to do anything with your PVC flute. It can probably get wet, and I'd probably keep it out of direct sunlight. You're going to do that with a bamboo flute, too. But, yeah, maintenance, P PVC is super easy. Ease of acquisition of materials, PVC is probably easier for most people in the world. You go to the hardware store and you buy some PVC. Hopefully they have the width that you want because PVC usually gets sold quarter inch, eighth inch, three eighths of an inch. There's steps. So, but essentially the PVC should be easy for you to find. Cost. Bamboo, I suppose it's free if you're in the forest and you pick it, but it sure takes a lot of time, and that's a cost of acquisition. Uh, the PVC, I guess that much PVC probably costs less than a few dollars. Physical symmetry PVC also, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, because what it comes down to is that bamboo has better timber. But the physical symmetry, bamboo is not a perfect it's, you know, you can maybe kind of see a bit of a curve on my flute, essentially. It's not perfectly flat. It ideally would be. And then even on the insides, there's things sticking out microscopically and little dents inside it. So it's not perfect, but a piece of PVC plastic, it came out of a mold. It should be more physically perfect, like straight, um, the same diameter the whole way through. But for one reason or another, material science, I'm not sure why, but bamboo, to most people's ears, just sounds nicer. It makes a nicer sound. <laughs> to me, it makes the nicest sound. I don't think there's any instrument that sounds as nice as a Bon Surrey. So, get the bamboo. The other thing I'll mention, too, as I'm also an environmental educator, is that PVC is a pretty unsafe, dangerous plastic. So it's probably not going to kill you, but if we're producing billions of pounds of it on the planet Earth and all that waste and bad chemicals are going out into the environment, it's not a good thing. Bamboo's natural, and from my experience, there's a lot of bamboo. I haven't heard about bamboo flute species becoming endangered or going extinct. It may even be that 
bamboo flute players help the population of the bamboo because more people want to have bamboo to make flutes. So environmentally, I think bamboo flutes are better. I do keep my bamboo flute in a PVC case and I will make a separate video at some point all about how to make a case out of PVC. I think that is incredibly important because it will protect your flute and it'll help you carry it around. And if you carry it around, you'll have it more often. So whether that's a PVC flute or a traditional bonsuri, I hope you got some practice in and hope you found some interesting information in this video. Bonsuri Q&A, this was episode 20 and I guess that's a landmark. Thank you for watching, especially if you have watched all 20. If you have watched all 20 of these from one through 20, go ahead and send me an email, contact at Indian Flute Music. And I'm just making this up right now. I'll go ahead whenever I get that email at any point in the future, maybe years from today. But if you email contact at IndianFluteMusic.com and say you watched all 20 of the videos and um, just put that in an email and I'll go ahead and send you an mp3 one of my recordings either from a live concert or a studio recording a full rendition of a raga thanks for watching I'm Dr. Kerry Krieger IndianFluteMusic.com bye